five. All right, welcome everyone to my first episode of USS Underwood FFG 36 going against a uh, Soviet uh, Delta Force SBN. And this is, of course, Dangerous Waters. Uh, came out back in 2004 by Sono Analyst. And uh, it's it's uh, more combat simish than, uh, than a, a game. Uh, but uh, pretty nice, pretty nice to play. Challenging at times. Okay. Just going through various stations here. TAO, sonar soup, torpedo in the water, bearing two, two, nine. All right, torpedo in the water. Time to run Come away. Come right to course. Zero, four, six. Aye, sir. Engine ahead, flank. All right. And let's get the helo up there. Bridge, helo control. Helo away. There we go. All right. My intent is to fly down the bearing of the uh, torpedo. And possibly just um, dump a weapon in or just get lucky uh, but what's nice with the, the the helo I could drop buoys down there run away from it and let the, uh, the 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 helicopter be the workhorse but in this case I have look at this an unknown target uh, down the bearing of the uh, torpedo bearing ambiguity resolved for track one zero one six all right nice, nice sonar I don't care about ten one six all right, so 1015 I care about. Radar is now on, and uh, there's nothing there. So it's a submarine for sure. And uh, let's uh, pick a submarine here. It really doesn't matter what sub you pick. 10 fight is hostile. And uh, we need to take control of the helo. You have control. Roger, out. All right. Here we go, guys. We're set up for a torpedo now. An attack, I should say, with Mark 46. And I uh, don't put the torpedo directly on top of the uh, contact. I uh, just have better luck offsetting it a little bit. Weapon away. TAO, sonar soup, torpedo in the water, bearing two, three, zero. Okay. Sonar's just reported our weapon in the water. Okay. They just, they, anything they get, they make a report. So we don't need to go evasive or anything. Yeah, let's take a look at the torp. The the one that went with the blue brackets around it, that's where sonar and the ship's sensors are telling us the torpedo's at. And then the simulator, of course, you can see where the actual torp's at. Alright. Another unknown target. They just show up as polygons. But the torpedo does appear to be tracking something. It has turned a bit to the west. And just going straight. And there she is. Kill goal complete. TAO, sonar soup, loud explosion, bearing two, two, five. All right, and this is the aftermath. There's our uh, sinking, destroyed Delta Four. And just uh, using this time here to look at the 3D world. Uh, now that the threat's been neutralized, have time to do this. And a little, a little eye candy here. You know, the water with the sunlight rays coming through, the ocean bottom uh, look pretty good. You got water and debris and the uh, debris bubbles in the water. And the only rendering that could use some help is the actual uh, platforms themselves, the submarine, the aircraft, surface ships. But um, you spend a lot of your time on the 2D nice. tactical plot. But it is nice to go to scenes like this every now and then. And uh, check out your platform, in this case, the Perry class. TAO, EW, new track, one, zero, two, three, bearing one, eight, five. All right. So there's the various stations that we have here. TMA on the ship looks like this. Uh, weapons control, weapons coordination. I don't use any of these. Just showing you real briefly here for this platform. EW, of course, uh, you should use this a lot, just like you, if you're uh, doing a submarine. So you just slide that on over, and uh, there you go. So those are all friendly classes, friendly radars. Turn all the crew back on. Let's take a look at the 56. I've been playing this now for about two months, and this is the first time I've actually got a contact on the SQS-56, home-mounted, passive. So it's a broadband display, and there is a uh, sound source. Uh, off the port bow, about 60 degrees off the port bow. 
and uh, I'm trying to figure out this because I'm like, uh, what's going on? The sub's gone. There's something there, and radar shows clear. No surface contacts on that bearing. Let's double check. We've been hit. Well, apparently the Delta did get a torque in the water. I don't know how. Fortunately for us, because uh, normally this game is extremely unforgiving, if you make a mistake like I just did, uh, you're dead. But 41% damage, and uh, that means the crew will be able to start effecting repairs. Because they still have that helo out there that we have to get on board. Red is damaged, and the white means uh, systems that have been restored. This is what it looks like uh, when your sonar is broke. <laughs> no data, and uh, you just can't do anything. So, Just like real life. Uh, strangely, the total array is working. That's strange. But, uh, let's uh, go ahead and bring the tail in. Retrieve the total ray. Aye, sir. Just another another way I could have retrieved the tail. It's kind of nice too on the Perry, you're able to go outside on the weather deck uh, and uh, look around. In this case here, we'll uh, get set up and let you guys watch the uh, Hilo make its final Bridge, approach. Bridge, Hilo Control. Hilo is on final approach. Okay, turn off time acceleration. Show you guys the binoculars here, what they look like. There we go. They have up to a 16 zoom as well. Uh, most of your sub periscopes go to 16 time magnification. These do as well. Also, have a night vision mode. And, uh, switch back to visual. The bearing on these, uh, just be advised, are, that's not true degrees, that's a relative bearing. ship some more. And here comes our helo approaching. As long as she doesn't hit that 35 uh, foot antenna, it'll be okay. And we'll wake the ship back there. Alright guys, uh, thanks for tuning in and watching uh, this episode of, uh, my first episode of Dangerous Waters. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. And uh, that'll do it for me. Bridge, Hilo Control, Hilo Recovered, TAO Hilo Control at Alert Status 5. TAO Hilo Control at Alert Status 15.